Okay, two wires down. Two more to go. You see that wire back in there? It's a loose, the loose wire right there. That goes to the light switch and it's just, I've got it dangled right there because it didn't go any further than that existing junction box, okay? I've got to connect that over to this junction box. So what do you suppose I have to do? If you said install another junction box, you're right. What I have to do is I want to reroute that wire over this way and see if I can come out this way over here so I've got a little bit more room, you know, to work, just like I'm doing right here. And if not, I'll pull it out as far as I can. I'm going to put this junction box there and get that wire into it, okay? Then i got to put a new wire, 12-2, with ground in here, run it across and see here, there's, here's this purlin brace that's kind of holding up the roof structure and I can run it across there, across, across, across and down into this junction box. Okay, that's our next step. That's for the switch and the lights. I got it. Cut this and put it into there. You got a question about how long, just make it a little bit extra. I'm gonna cut that off. I already got a knockout out of the box. Shove it in there like that. I've gotta get this within six inches of the box to meet code. And see, I've got it up there to keep it out of the way so that I don't have to crawl over it because you can't, you're not supposed to walk on these. Just make it snug, not too tight. Okay. And there's that wire. You're gonna have to keep track of these wires, but because you're installing it, you'll know what to do. Now where does that wire go? Here, let's follow it. I just put this wire in, see I put it along there so that I got enough crawl space there. Put it across and boom. Put the junction box there and this wire goes to the switch. And see that wire coming out of that box, the old wire, that was all I had left. And I took that wire and I stapled it alongside that rafter on the back side and then it went down over to the light switch, okay? So that is gonna be a junction box just for the switch. Cool, huh? That's how you make junction boxes up in your attic. Okay, run this across. And put it there. Man, we're getting a few wires in here. See, I could have used a two gang box, but I'll be able to fit it all in. Okay, now I need one more set of wires to come out of there to my first light fixture. If you remember, there's where one's going to be, another one's going to be over there, and then another one's going to be about, oh, two and a half, three feet that way. And where that one is, there's going to be another one from where that hole is over this way, about two feet or so, maybe two and a half feet. And right there where I cleaned out some insulation, it's hard to see back in there. You know, I'm going to have another can light in there. I'll start the wire from this junction box to that first can light right there. And then from that one, I'll wire from that one over to the next one, over to the next one, over to the kitchen one up underneath there because there's one above the sink. In fact, I might make that one the last one. I may, might make the sink one the last one or something so I don't have to wired up i can i can wire it before i put the cut in can up in the ceiling and get it all connected and then shove it up through the ceiling and i'll have one wire going from that to another light fixture okay so i'll probably end up doing that from there over to there because that'll be the last one see you follow that 
wire goes from here. This is where the light switch is going to be turned on. And that wire is going to turn on the first light fixture there. And then I'm going to daisy chain over to there, over to there, over to there. And then from there over to the kitchen above the sink one. Okay. You keep following me. It'll get clearer as I go. Okay. Now, had the wiring been different, where the, the wire from the light switch, the light, well, light switch wire had power to it, and then if it came up to that junction box right there, it, I could have loosened it there, and that would have been long enough to start my first light. I could have started my first one with that same existing wire over to the first can over there, and then the light switch would have controlled that. Then I would have went from there to here, to the kitchen, over to here, over to, to this last one. Something like that. And that's how they normally do it. But in the old days, they were trying to save money by not installing any more wire than they had to, okay? Man, when you're working up in an attic, it just takes the breath out of you. I thought I'd have this all done today. I'm getting tired, I'm getting hot, sweaty, grumpy, itchy. I think I'm gonna finish up tomorrow. Get out of here. It's getting hard to breathe even though I have a dust mask on and everything else. I think I'm gonna leave all my stuff up here though. You know? Oh, wow. Well, I've made a corporate decision. I'm gonna go and finish up for the day. Next time I come, I'm gonna cut in the can lights and do some work down below before I get back up in the attic. Once I get back up in the attic, I'm gonna have to do some crawling and get the, get the light back up here in my, my camera and show you how I'm going to wire this, okay? That's all I have for today. Oh, I'm glad today's over with. I didn't get as far as I wanted to today. But man, getting up in the attic just kicks your butt. Whew. I'm drenched. Feels like I just jumped out of the shower and I had my shirt on or something. Okay, well that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos.